A huge day for Southeast Michigan, impacting something we all use every single day, water. The Great Lakes Water Authority will serve more than 4 million people in Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. It is a 40-year lease giving control a six-member board control of Detroit's water system. In exchange, the suburbs will pay Detroit $50 million a year in lease payments to improve that system's failing infrastructure. This would also give some money to assisting people struggling to pay their water bills. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan calls this an historic step for relations between Detroit and the suburbs. And joining us now is Gary Brown, the group executive for operations for the city of Detroit. Mr. Brown, thanks so much for being here. I want to start with the fact that this really seemed to go down to the wire. Were you ever nervous that this wasn't going to happen? Uh, absolutely, I was nervous, uh, but I had confidence that it was happening. All the parties, uh, all the county and the city were working uh, together to work through their issues, and we got it done. We got it done under the deadline, but it's done. Well, you paint a pretty picture and say everybody was working together, but there was a lot of pushback, especially from Macomb County. Mark Hackle uh, has never really been a fan of this whole thing. In fact, feels he got shut out of a lot of these negotiations. Is it really all roses on this thing, Gary? Well, it's the democratic process. Uh, you know, th that's what happened with democracy. And uh, some resistance isn't bad for the process. Uh, however, you know, I, I believe that uh, we all had uh, access to the same amount of information to make the decisions that we made. And the right decision was made. It's historic. We have a, a Great Lakes Water Authority. Well, now that we have this, I think a lot of people are just wondering what does this come down to? Is this going to affect our water rates? Yeah, well, hopefully in the future, it's going to affect them dramatically. I mean, there's opportunity uh, to make this a much better system. And as long as the board uh, of the Water Authority keeps in mind that every decision being made is being made on what's in the best interest of the system as a whole, we'll all benefit from that. We will have the efficiencies that we're all uh, looking to gain, and that in the future will keep rates down. Now you say it'll affect uh, users dramatically. I assume you're, you're saying in a good way. In the short term, though, uh, a lot of different communities are throwing a lot of money at this thing. And also, the, the way the system works now is every community seems to pay different amounts of money. Is this going to smooth that out? And in the short run, are people going to pay more? Well, uh, in the short run, there's going to be an, an average amount of increase, yearly increase. Detroit will have an increase, and so will most of the suburbs. But let's face it, we're, we're getting $50 million to redo the infrastructure of Detroit's uh, water assets. And that's going to benefit not only Detroit, but the system as a whole. It's also going to allow for an assistance program to be provided for those uh, that uh, need the assistance to pay their bills. $4.5 million available. And uh, with that $50 million, we're going to invest the majority of it into our infrastructure. We're going to put people to work. Uh, what, what does Detroit need more than a job? And we're going to create jobs to fix the infrastructure, which will ultimately uh, make the system as a whole in the suburbs and in Detroit a better system, a more efficient system, and a cheaper system to operate. Yeah, Gary, the other part of my convoluted question is, will the suburbs all pay a more flat rate, or, or are we going to have this disparity between what different communities pay for the water? Yeah. Sure. Every community will set their own rates and be responsible for collection. And that's the beauty of this lease. Uh, no one's going to have to pay because someone else couldn't collect. So the rates will be set by the individual community. Detroit will set its rates. All the suburbs will set their rates based on whatever overhead that they have. You know, Mr. Brown, some people say, well, there are some communities that have debt. And how will that impact the rates and what goes on with this deal? What can you say about that? Well, the rates are based on, uh, you know, fixed cost as well as the cost of debt. And so the rates have always been based on that. But uh, the less debt that you have factored into your rates, the lower the rates. And so uh, we're making a concerted effort in the city of Detroit to collect. And, uh, and in doing so, we're going to make sure that the rates stay as low as possible. All right, Gary Brown with the Water Department, thank you so very much for uh, keeping us up to date on what this is going to happen. It's all going to start kicking in fairly shortly, I take it, right? Well, it'll be January 1st before the terms uh, start to kick right. in, but we're gonna be, we, we've got a lot of work to do and we're <laughs> working hard to get it done.